Hey guys, welcome to Possibilities A today on this YouTube channel and uh, we are going to discuss something that has been there in the midst of air and we haven't really caught really attention to it. Uh, something that all of us would have one day or the other witnessed with our pets and ourselves and we haven't really tackled the situation in a right way. So let's discuss something about pet obesity. Since we all know that pet obesity is an epidemic, if a dog or a cat are 10 to 20% heavier than their ideal weight, their ideal weight in the body condition score is supposed to be 3, just for your knowledge, and then they are considered to be overweight dogs. Now, obesity is associated with so many serious health conditions and diseases. Let us discuss more about pet obesity and their problems. What are the causes of obesity? Uh, what are the diseases that uh, our pets are at risk? Uh, how to tackle this situation, what food we need to feed them, uh, how to reduce the stress of obesity and let's face this challenging goal with uh, our pet owners uh, and uh, we have someone today on our line with us uh, to enlighten us with this topic and uh, we shall share all his views and get enlightened um, by Mr. Uh, Akshay Kumar. So yeah, uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, Dr. Akshay. So, can we start with an introduction about yourself, sir? Of course, why not? Myself, I am Akshay. I am living near to Hyderabad. So, I am a fourth year graduate in a PV Narasimha Rao, Telangana Veterinary University, uh, College of Veterinary Science, Korutla. So, so Dr. Akshay, tell me, um, did you really want to become an animal doctor, a veterinarian, to be more precise? I uh, think everyone wants to be become an uh, MBBS doctor or uh, everyone shares the goals for uh, the most uh, prestigious uh, thing that is MBBS. But most of the people don't know that even veterinary has got great future. Uh, but these uh, societies make them to opt uh, MBBS. Uh, of course, I have a great interest in taking up these veterinary courses and saw the new animals which can't say their problems. So I'm proud to be a veterinarian. Okay. Uh, so uh, that is really amazing. Um, very few people take this courageous decision of, you know, even, even after getting seats in MBBS and then switching over to veterinary science. It's very grateful for you to do for our lovely pets. Cool. Uh, so getting back to our topic, which is on heat. Um, obesity. So, uh, Dr. Akshay, I just wanted to ask you one question, really important, really fast. Uh, what are the major and minor problems do you think obesity causes? And what are the, what are the causes that uh, elevate this condition uh, in our pet animals? So, the major problem, firstly, is on the bones. So, orthopedic diseases or disorders are the more major prone diseases when a dog or cat is suffering from this obesity. So like fractures, so the whole body weight is maintained by vertebral, so we call it a backbone. So intervertebral disc diseases are more. So in female dogs, uh, there is a major problem called hip dysplasia. Right. So these obese dogs have a major orthopedic disorders. Not only these uh, orthopedic disorders, when we come across cardiac problems also. So these heavy weight may lead to high blood pressure. Okay. And uh, respiratory problems like breathing difficulties, so trachea may collapse in some cases. Not only these uh, external conditions, but like some internal conditions like endocrine disturbances also we can be noticed, okay. like majorly hypothyroidism, the major uh, ca some of the cause of the deaths, so hy hypothyroidism. Okay. Nextly, diabetes. Most of us are now concerned with these obese dogs also, or these obese dogs are mostly prone for the diabetes okay. and also liver dysfunctions so um, apart from these then our uh, dogs or cats has to be undergone any surgeries so we will induce anesthesia to oh. get calm hmm. so in some of the cases these obese dogs or cats we cannot regulate them with anesthesia due to these obese conditions and in some cases we will find tumors in mostly immune system is getting down to this obesity. Okay. So, even a dog or cat is down to immune, so easily surrounding bacteria or surrounding uh, microorganisms will take the upper hand. 
so our obese dogs will obese dogs or cats will be easily prone to diseases so this so according to me this is the another major concern that is uh, downing the immune system okay. again that uh, apart from that another topic is, uh, another thing is glucose intolerance okay so majorly what we provide the food majorly it consists of glucose what we buy from the mcdonalds uh, or the swiggy we will order so these uh, oily foods so what we will uh, consume we also offer to our pets as a gratitude that we are feeding our dog with high quality or high quality material foods we are think like that but these actually don't work these are this this is doing ruining the animal's health so minor problems may due to the heat intolerance so in summer season temperature rises so obese dogs can't tolerate the temperature and also exercise the intolerance okay. so when we often take them to exercises they can't perform it up to their mark so they become dull depressed and also unable to walk even sometimes okay uh, so these are the major and minor um, factors that cause obesity causing uh, side lining diseases and more severe conditions due to obesity that's what you're saying right dr akshay yes. um yeah so uh, that's that's what we got to know and uh, let's go let's move on further uh, what are the foods that we are not supposed to give and we are supposed to feed a dog idp what do you think about it basically the food should not contain grapes which are toxic and also resins onions and uh, tomatoes mainly the chocolates we will feed chocolate uh, but it is uh, feeding for a prolonged period may cause the disturbances in the may lead to cardiac arrest and also for a uh, respiratory failure so please don't feed your dogs with grapes resins onions tomatoes and also chocolates next coming to what we can feed to the dog so generally when we see food majorly contains of carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins so generally we concern about only carbohydrates and feeding calories so here my point is why can't you feed your dog with a protein or why can't you feed your dog with a cat which makes it more healthy so generally people wondering why carbohydrates makes the animal fat here is the thing that is when you feed with a calorie rich diet blood glucose levels increases then automatically to compensate that problem body will regulate insulin so this insulin will tell to our fat cells open up then this glucose enters to them and converts into fat and stored so indirectly feeding your pet with high calorie diet or high carbohydrate diet may lead to obesity and next one thing fat so di- fats are directly fats are of two categories good fats and bad fats so if you want to feed a good fat then go for fish oils fish meat which contains omega 3 fatty acid which is very helpful for your dog next protein content so online uh, online may proteins they proteins are available which are of uh, purely for dogs not only for bodybuilders in the gym for but also some of the breeds which are uh, well built for muscles and for with dog, uh, dog breeds which can be go for uh, shows to make oh. their owner proud okay dog shows and all that right okay yeah so make sure that protein is should be rich so we can feed our dog with eggs so why not we we can offer meat also so chicken which is also rich in protein so one more one most major thing when you are offering protein make sure that water is available to your pet so protein which is degraded by our body is accumulated in the kidneys so if it is not eliminated it may be cause another problem so make sure that your pet is drinking avail uh, much so uh, yes uh, coming to all that you have said dr akshay i just wanted to ask you one last question uh, what do you think about the treatment protocol are there any drugs or even if there are drugs are they really supportive uh, considering all the sliding uh, diseases and effects that have uh have increased the risk of having obesity what do you think uh, does exercise rehabilitation that is that all enough for a pet uh, or do we need to use certain drugs see when the animal is in obese conditions first major thing is to be in controlled obese diet 
this is the major most thing which can reduce the body weight of the animal rather than using drugs drugs so when we have to use drug it can underline undermine the causes that's it so we have no drugs and we have no imported drugs so we can treat the obesity so first of all we have to maintain obese diet so that our dogs or cats are under a controlled diet and uh, rehabilitation and exercises and uh, go getting hiring in swimming classes for our dogs also we can burn fat which is accumulated in it so that we can reduce the body weight and other major thing if the body weight is reduced don't stop the rehabilitation or don't stop the exercises there itself so we have to maintain this body score conditions oh. so so after getting into the normal condition so make it as a habit of to our pet so that it can gain weight again so getting fat is easy but losing fat is a major concern it will take up to 6 months to 1 year time so drugs in regarding to this obesity may control the other underlying diseases which is caused by the obesity but obesity is purely controlled by about the strict diet maintenance uh, let me summarize what we have really uh, spoken about today uh, when you have an overweight issue with your dog uh, always find out the correct body conditional score um, feed them in smaller portions or always find a feeding correct schedule and a free time never give them treats and free food uh, whenever it is available uh always take your dog for walks and several uh, plays uh, several times of the day uh, 30 minutes of exercise is most essential is that right dr akshay 30 minutes is more essential right yes of course okay and uh, and then according to the feed uh, feeding schedule and the diet that you have given dr akshay i think yeah that is more than enough and provide them with lot of water uh, so yeah this is about uh body condition score and also pet obesity uh thank you so much uh, dr akshay for spending all your time and uh, giving us your knowledge about pet obesity uh i have got to know you through our page on possibilities 8 when we played um quizzes and you uh, literally topped it all of all of them very talented person uh i thank, thank you, you so much for coming and um expressing whatever or uh, your thoughts are on pet obesity thank you sir have a good day thank you